Hey folks, Eric the Old Jarhead here. Thought I would take a minute just to kind of talk a little bit about a visit to Wood Miser to check in on their ReSharp program and just kind of take a wander about. But before I do, I thought I would share a little bit of the vacation my wife and I took this year. You know, it isn't always about work, work, work and running the sawmill. Sometimes you got to take a break and man, we had an awesome time. We went to the Oregon coast first to the wedding of one of the daycare kids from my wife's daycare that she ran many years. And this young lady was in her daycare for several years and it's kind of like a fourth daughter for my wife so we spent a little time uh, at the wedding had a great time and then we went and kind of toured up and down the coast but right before we did our little lighthouse tour and went and saw the lighthouses that were out there we went and ran cedar tree number 13 which is an official jeep trail anybody that watches my channel much knows that i love jeeps and one of my passions is just getting out in the jeep and doing a little wheeling and usually for me it's about going somewhere but i always wanted to try one of the official jeep trails you know jeep will give you a badge if you go do one of their official jeep trails and you know we had a lot of fun the jeep was set up really well and and uh you know it made really light work of cedar tree which isn't one of the tougher trails uh, you know but it was a good time we had a great time we uh spent uh oh it took us about an hour to to do a three mile off-road trail rated four to seven Oh, yeah, you don't want to go that way, huh? Oh, shit. See how close I am to that edge right there? Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Just, you're, you have to turn left. Left, there you go. You're good. You were fine. I just, now over here, way right. You're good. And then I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> it's just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but before we got very far, we stopped in at Wood Village, where Wood Miser is in Oregon, just outside of Portland, Oregon, and did a little tour of their ReSharp program. And if you're not familiar with the ReSharp program for you know Wood Miser owners anyway, you can sign up to their ReSharp program and you just send your bands into them like 15 at a time and they ReSharp and reset them for you and inspect them and if there's a bad band, they'll replace it for you. And so let's take a walk through the shop and talk to the guys doing a little work in here and give you the opportunity just to see what goes on inside the ReSharp uh, facility. Morning. Hey, morning. I was told I could come by and sneak a peek and, and say hi. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> you got any questions or anything? Uh, not really. Well, you could have left it on. I'd have been fine. I'm Eric, known as the old Jarhead on YouTube, huh. and I've got, I have a mill. In fact, you guys just sent some bands back to me. Oh, did we? But we, we just happened to be cruising through, and I said, well, we should stop by with my Yeah, just take a peek. Take a peek and shoot a little video while we're here, you know, and... Yeah, no, feel free. Walk around, you know. So this thing's fully automated, huh? Yeah. Most I have to do is, you know, grab the blades from here, inspect them. Right. Uh, make sure everything's set right, and then let it do its thing. Just press start, you know. Boom, boom, Away you boom. go. And then let it do its thing. So these are 10 degrees. So, so this machine is 10 degrees? Yeah, so this okay. is going to be a 10 degrees. This is a 10 degree. I just changed the wheel on this so you could have saw how that was. Now it's 10 degrees over here. You know, mm -hmm. I just got done with the exciting... So do you, do, you, do you change, like, can you change that one to a 747 or yeah. fours? Or, okay, so you yep. just change them out? Yep. Okay. I mean, yeah. it's as simple as, like, let me show you real quick. So this whole part right here where the wheel is, Pulling this up, and then taking this little dude right here, and twisting. So you're just setting it for the two sets. Well, this will be for like your wheel. So boom, and then you know, it's just regular grab the stuff, take this off, pull the wheel out, put whatever other wheel. Oh, I see. I need. Okay. So, like, so grind the profile. Yeah. So this is a ten. So like right here, that'd be a nine. nine so I'm right. just switching out. 
Right. And then once I put the blade on like this, I would just pull it down and then set it up. Gotcha. With these. gotcha. Yeah. So what are you doing the most of? Uh, tens. Really? Probably tens, the huh? most uh, popular, I'd say, is what I see the most. Right. Well, that seems like you know everybody starts with tens. I did. Yes. But I've been slowly moving away to sevens. Although I did get a box of seven forty sevens to try right. out. So I've only cut with one so far and it seems like it moves a hell of a lot of sawdust <laughs> in my face. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, right on. So this is this is setting your is it setting the gullet as well? It's setting everything. Yeah. So sharpening it, set the gullet. Well, this, the, this won't set it, these will be our setter. So once right, I that'll set it, the two. Yeah. I mean you're but you're 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 doing the whole profile oh, yeah. over yeah. there. And then here you're setting the two. Yeah. So, oh, wow. I'm going to get right here and get sharp with you. I'm going to get a little bit of water just in case for all that excess stuff. You know, I've cleaned up. That way, when I get to him, the only thing you can have to do is set him, go right across. Gotcha. Okay. And that, that's automated as well, pretty much, huh? Yep. Set it in there, and away it goes. Just two little presses. Yep. That's cool. So, how many bands a day do you guys do? Last week, I don't know, I think it was 650 blades. 650? Yeah. In the week. In the week. In the week, I'd say it was. You've got a lot right there. Yeah. And I'm sure guys like me don't, don't make you happy. When I when I send mine in, I've got sevens and fours and tens all in the box. <laughs> So I've kind of said that something in my head, like today's an easy day, it's Friday, so it's going to be kind of, I maybe, I have the one next day that I'll switch, on certain days like yesterday, as you can see up here, four, seven, four, sevens, tens, that was, I'll use this one, because I'll switch it out quick enough, and then you know, run, okay, I got 12 tens over here, and then one, 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 right, one, right. and I keep this, these two going, and then switch one out as I'm so, so really, a dumb jarhead like me should send boxes in, just tens or just no, or really. what about separating the bands when you set them in and like you guys zip tie them together so yeah. if, I, if I send in 15 if I zip tie 10 tens together yeah. and then then the five sevens or whatever I mean it's a little bit easier because then we can see those as soon as right, we right, right. put this on or whatever most of the time you can look at them and I'm like all right that's 10 degree that's this that's gotcha. that that's right. taller right. it's like all right this is going up or we already going these gotcha. are allows us to kind of get it up on our racks a little bit easier. Right. Well, that makes sense. I mean, I, I've been thinking about it because, you know, the problem is, is when you're trying to get a, a get rid of the tens, right? I want to yeah. I want to get away from tens. Yeah. I mean, I run, I really like sevens. I like fours for the bigger, wider stuff, right. harder woods. Um, tens are okay. They work. Tens are but, okay because you can go harder on them with a lot of... Yeah, but I, I find I cut faster with sevens. Yeah. Um, so like my, for resharp, I've just said, if they, anything's bad in there, just replace it with a 7. Yep. Of course, now I'm trying out some 747s, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yep. But, you know, then I'll tell them what I think of the yep. 747s anyway, so, right, you know. But, uh, well, very cool. Well, I'll get out of your hair. So, you always put in a return shipping label. Oh, that'd probably be over here. That's so... all... Once it's going to outtakes. Right, right. Whatever, so. They they put it in the box. Yep. So you got a lot of boxes here. <laughs> now this is all the stuff that we've gotten done, like uh, a blog. This was a fun one. I mean, he had a bunch of. Uh, well, it's nice that way. you guys are writing on them because they didn't used to do that. I don't think. And no, it just so makes it nice easier. To so, see. like, if uh, say a customer calls and we need to look for their name, and right. all right, it's oh, you're 10 degrees, or gotcha. there's five right. of them, right. or even you know their account number or whatever. It's just right. easier to do. That's cool. It's like even you know, when they come in, like this is all the stuff we still got to do. So <laughs> that's a know. lot of stuff to do. <laughs> so you got an older mill sitting over there. It must be in for repairs or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have anything. That's got the seed on it too. The, um, all the repairs and probably still waiting for Kohler to provide some motors <laughs> it, it's crazy yeah so the interesting thing about these seats is um, that it it means you can't run as far back because the seat 
takes up that space, right? It's going to stop here. So what some guys do is they extend the rail so that they can ride the seat back and forth. There's an older mill. I wonder what the deal is with that guy right there. I wonder if that's for a edger or something. Here's your LT15. I've never seen him do that before. That's interesting. That looks like an old 40. Oh, they got mirrors. That must be the new LT10. Or maybe it's an LX, maybe that's the LX25. Yeah, LX55, okay. It's kind of like a beefed up LT15. Got some used mills over there. You wonder if they're repairing them or selling. Makes you wonder if these mills are um, just waiting on something. You know, if they they've sold them and they're just waiting to finish them and get them out the door. Must be a 70. LT 70, yeah. Well, need a mill. All right, folks, that's all I've got for you today. But stick around the channel. I had a video drop just yesterday and i uh, hope you enjoyed that little maple log i'll throw that up here at the end so you can go check it out if you haven't seen it yet and tomorrow i'm going to be dropping another video I, I think you'll find it's really entertaining thanks for watching folks everybody have a great day the old jarhead out